turn on the game room. A lot of you guys were asking me about my setup non-stop. I couldn't do the video because I always kept getting new equipment and I always kept changing something up. And I was like, I want to show it to you guys when it's completely ready, when I feel it's ready. I always keep adding new stuff. So basically, this video is never going to come out unless I just start now. And mind you, please disregard the horrible cable management. I tried and I just can't freaking do it. If you guys have any tips on cable management, write them in the comments below. So first off, a little about my history. I, as you guys know, have just moved out and I couldn't be any happier because I get to be creatively free and I finally get to build what I had in my mind the whole time. This is pretty much what I dreamt. As you can see in this picture right here, I sketched it out. I told myself, this is what I want, this is what I'm gonna get, and I got it, which I'm really, really proud of. I edit, I do special effects, I create apps and games, I also am a huge gamer, and I'm a huge consumer of TV and entertainment. And this is why I created my entertainment system. My first PC was basically HP, and I bought that a while ago with the help of my mom and uncle. And when I bought it, it was, you know, just the run-of-the-mill computer, it wasn't anything great. Second computer I bought was built by someone else. But then we move on to the third PC, which was in a Phantom NZXT case. And that was also my very first computer that I built myself with the help of my brother. And then we moved later down the line to my fourth PC, which was the one that I have in my mom's house. And this was the computer that I put to work. It was powerful, I was proud of it. And I remember my ex-girlfriend telling me like, oh my gosh, this is like a car. This is insane. What are you doing? And I'm like, I'm creating. That's what I'm doing. I don't, I don't know what I'm And now we move on to my fifth PC, which is currently my new build. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is my baby. I'm pretty sure before you guys look at the computer you want to know what's inside, right? Well then let me show you. First, let's start with the small things. It's fitted with an internal USB hub. Also an AER RGB 120mm NZXT Hue Plus lighting system for the fans and LED strips. Which are these LED strips right here, also from NZXT that work with the Hue Plus. Two power link cables for the video graphics cards. That's correct. I'm running these graphics cards in SLI. It's the GeForce GTX SLI Hub Bridge 3 slot. This is the newest one they have. Supposedly it is great and, and does wonders, so yeah. And then the brain, the processor, is an i7-6850K. I wanted to go the 6900 or the Extreme, but I saw the reviews, so I went for this one. Ow! The boot drive is fitted with an 850 Pro Samsung SSD. One terabyte is a great size for a boot drive that is an SSD in my opinion, and Samsung makes really great solid state drives. I chose that. I also have a five terabyte internal storage that is Western Digital, and it's the black edition. And obviously since you guys know I stream and also record gaming, I use the internal Elgato HD60 Pro, absolutely gorgeous. I got the wired wireless mouse, which is the G900 Chaos Spectrum, right here. This is the box for it. I'm not gonna throw this. I'll throw the box. Holy shit, that was heavy. And I know you guys are probably waiting and you want to know what the video cards are. A lot of you are smart and you probably already know by looking at it, but I'll tell you anyway. The two video cards that are inside my computer are the GTX GeForce 1080 FTW RGB editions and they are awesome. I love them. And yes, we're gonna throw that too. My neighbors are gonna hate me. And for the water cooling system, I have the NZXT X61 Kraken water cooler. And this is absolutely amazing, gets the job done. I wanted to get the X62, but it wasn't available at the time I was building this computer. So NZXT, if you're watching this, it would be awesome if you could sponsor me and send me the X62 for free. I've been a customer for years now, and I haven't changed my cases and everything. Okay, so um, yeah. And then for the mother of all hardware pieces on PC, the motherboard. And this is the X99 Deluxe 2 ASUS with RGB lighting, their highest end motherboard right now if I'm not mistaken if I'm mistaken I'm really sorry but at the time I bought this it was and this is great 
for workstations and gaming. 64 gigabytes on each side, so I have 128 gigabytes of RAM, and these are the DDR4 Dominator Platinum RAM sticks with a rating of 3,466 megahertz. I, I literally pulled the dumbest thing. I got an 850 watt power supply P2 Platinum Edition by EVGA, which is absolutely amazing, but my computer couldn't handle it because I have so much shit in it. I'm so stupid. So I had to upgrade. So I upgraded to an EVGA 1000 watt P2 power supply. And this baby saved my life. Now the 850 works great, but it wasn't enough for my computer. I might actually give it away in this video. We'll find out later. Speaking of power supply, I didn't use the power cables that came with the 1000 watt power supply. Instead, I bought my own custom white wires, so this way it could actually look really cool inside the PC. And finally, the case, as you might already noticed, is the NZXT S340 Elite. And it's VR ready, which is something I also wanted to go for, because I have my own VR system, which I'm gonna show you in a few. I have the HTC Vive, which is absolutely amazing. This is the VR headset I have. And I use these cable management magnets that came with the case itself to neatly wrap the wires around for the VR system. Now it's also used to hang the VR headset, but I wouldn't risk that because I don't want to drop this thing. And the controllers are right here. They're both fitted with custom skins as with the headset. That's one of the sensors for the HTC Vive, and that is the other sensor. And this little guy here is a wireless Bluetooth Iron Man connected to my Alexa. Just fine, thank you. These speakers are really awesome. Check this out. Alexa, play some music. Here's a station you might like, Daft Punk. And as you can see for the equalizer, it goes up and down with the music. And there's so many other ones that you could choose from. And these are just a very few of all the different settings they have. But one more thing that I want to show you that's really cool. Notice this button right here. That button is for the camera that's on the back right here. Let's change it to red. Point it at the red light. And there you go. It absorbs the light and now it changes the color of the speaker to whatever you point it at. There you go. These speakers are the Bass Pulse Go Groove. You could get them at the description box below. We have the Xbox One S along with two wireless controllers, one of which is custom designed by me. And then we have the PS4 and A50 wireless headset, Astro headsets, PS4 edition, along with two wireless controllers for the PS4 on a Japanese charging dock station. The Xbox controllers are also on charging docks too. Now this keyboard is a Corsair Strafe RGB edition with Cherry MX silent switches, which is only exclusive to this keyboard, meaning that your keys are going to be silent. They don't make any noise and they don't have that clacky sound when you're typing. I don't know why I got this because I live alone, but but as you can see, it's really quiet and subtle, so it won't annoy anyone that is around or trying to sleep. This keyboard comes fitted with a lot of great lighting effects, the first of which, the type lighting, which if you type, it will start lighting up. Now this isn't really helpful because if it's in the dark, unless you memorize where the keys are, this is kind of like a visor effect, it's called color wave. Each wave is a different color. Definitely my favorite, it's called the ripple effect. So when you type, you create a ripple effect from where you type. Just go crazy and it'll keep changing colors. Each ripple is a different color. And just keep going crazy with the colors. This is called the rain effect, which is kind of like the matrix. So the lights keep going from top to bottom in different colors. Color wave, and the next one is my favorite, the rainbow wave, which always stays lit and has each and every color going across in a wave. Why, why, why? Why you need to lie, lie, lie? You guys might be asking about the huge ass mouse pad that I have under the keyboard and mouse. It's a full panoramic mouse pad, complete with the Melgurizing Raiden image. It also has my Twitch name, which is Cuckoobuff, and that right there is my 55 inch 4K Ultra HD TV by LG. Not the greatest, but it certainly does the job. You can pull it out basically like this, so people who are sitting down can get a better view, or it could be tilted up or down, and you can also tilt it to the left, and you could also tilt it to the right, and then you could actually just push it and flatten it back to the wall, so this way it is nice and neat. And just stream or record voiceovers for my videos, or if I'm done with it, I can just take it in the back and place it right there 
and hide it away so it looks nice and neat. Alright, so we pretty much talked about everything on this table, but we didn't talk about this table. This table is an uplift motorized standing table, 80 inches long, 30 inches deep. It has four preset modes that you could set yourself, and I set number one to the sitting height, number two to the standing height, and number three to studio height. Let's set it to the standing height. I press number two, and it starts taking it to the position where I previously set it for my standing height. This way, I could work while I'm standing. It's nice for my legs and my glutes. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. Everything will be linked down below, so if you wanna get something for yourself, feel free to do it. Change lights to indigo. Now I really hope you guys enjoyed this setup video. I know a lot of you guys were really asking about it and wanted me to do it for a long, long time. Altogether, all this stuff costs more than $10,000. I think it's worth it. To be honest with you, it was my dream and I worked very hard for it and I saved up money for a long, long time and I didn't ask anyone for help. I just kept working, working, working and I didn't take any money from anyone and I paid it myself with credit cards, <laughs> so I am in debt and I have to pay these up. With that said, I hope this inspires you to work hard for whatever it is, and whatever it is you want, you'll get it as long as you put your mind to it, no matter how crazy it is. I have a friend of mine who has millions of dollars, and now for his leisure time, he's building a freaking Batmobile at his garage. If you want to be in the next video with your question, just tweet me with the hashtag AskKareem and ask your question and I'll answer it on the video. That's my Q&A. Again, thank you guys so much. Remember, hit that like button, smash it, and let's go crazy. Let's try to go to for a thousand likes. That would be really cool. Subscribe, share, and turn on that notification bell, and I will see you next time. Peace, love, and unity, and I'll see you the later. All the rules will be in the description box below. I'll be giving away two $50 gift cards, my 850 watt power supply, and $1,000. That's right, I'm giving away $1,000. And the $1,000 is going to be given away if you enter the contest and also answer this question. What is this jumper inspired by? That's it. So keep liking, keep commenting, subscribing, tweeting, and all that good stuff. And hey, I might just choose you. Snapchats do count. If you screenshot or reply to my snaps with the video, you're going to get entered. Be active on all my social media. And I guarantee you, you might be hit up by me with a gift. Siri, turn off the lights. Peace.